Well, we mean our AFC Wimbledon assistant manager, Terry Skiverton. Terry, Wimbledon fans have faced adversity a lot over the years, but how important is it at the moment to have fans, staff, players all on the same page at these difficult times? Yeah, I don't think we can, you know, we can come out here and, and make out everything's all rosy. We're in a, you know, we've been on a tough run of results and, um, you know, performances have been good in certain elements of the games, but the results have not gone for us. So we've been, we've been really disappointed with that. But the one thing that we have, you know, we know where we are, but we also realistic and know where we are within the league. We know what position we're in. We know where, you know, the teams around us, teams below us are. So we're in a, you know, we're, we're in a situation that we, where we know what we've got to do. Um, as a, as a staff, we've been, you know, we've been working tirelessly and making sure that, you know, we're as, the players have been as detailed as they can with the opposition, and, and it's just been them. The moments within the games that we've come up a little bit short, and you know you can't you can't put a blanket over it. The the injury situation at the moment is horrific, and uh, I was speaking with you, and you said, you know, it's probably the, the worst you've seen in your time since the Terry Brown days, and that's going back some way. So for us, it's it's realising where we are, it's making sure that we're positive as a staff, but we're also stern and we're giving out and we're and we're making sure that the the information that we're giving to the players is correct but making sure that they go out on the front foot and you know we've got eight games to go and we need to make sure that we focus on the next one then the next one and we'll we'll reach a marker that we've set and make sure that we're we're going in and, and putting on really good performances but also getting the results for the supporters because they've been magnificent you know after the game on Saturday when we was in the station waiting to to get our train back there was a supporter that was you know we was looking a little bit glum in the um you know, in the waiting room, waiting to get on our train, and uh, he was like, "Make sure you cheer up. Don't have a sad face. There's a lot of young players in here, and you, you played well today. It was just the moments that went against us, uh, against us. And you know, that's nice to hear from our own supporters. And you know, when the, the Crawley game apart, which I thought we were poor on that day, um, and frustrations were ahead. I think every other game we've been playing, we've been in, and it's just been them, you know, them moments that win and lose your games. We've been coming up on the wrong side of." You spoke about the young players there, there's a strong academy to the side at the moment as well. How important is it for them to have a really good atmosphere, positive atmosphere at Plough Lane tomorrow night? Yeah, I mean the, the supporters have been fantastic and we need to make sure that you know they, they come along in their numbers and, and help us. As again, when I said that I came down here last year and uh, with Charlton and there seemed to be, it was almost like there was, not I wouldn't say resignment to, to going down, but it was almost like it didn't matter what happened. You were still going to be there, happy, support the club, and you know we want it a little bit more edgy than that. We want we want it to be spiky. We want it to be you know putting pressure on the opposition, the opposition dugout, and, and decision making, and um, you know get behind the players in that way. And the young players have stepped up to the mark. I thought they were excellent. I thought there was some you know real standout performances, especially with you know Jenko coming in for his debut and getting a goal. The gaffer said after the game that he shows a real willing and determined approach in attacking the ball in the defensive box and in the attacking box as well and um, you know we need, we need more players like that at the moment and uh, it was good it was unfortunate that he came off because it was at a pivotal time within the game but you know him with Nathan coming stepping in you know young Yaboa stepping in for his debut as well it, it shows you when you look at our team sheet that that team that we're you know we've had to put out at the moment looks nothing like the team when we was on our fantastic run but you know they're getting opportunities and they're getting a the place for to stake a, a place for a shirt, but also showing us what they can do for the future for the football club as well. You mentioned Luke Jenkins there, he's been through a lot in terms of injuries, gone out, been on loan at places as well. How much credit does he deserve for his performance the other day? Yeah, I think the academy staff as well. You know, I think Michael's done a fantastic job. The, um, there's a real close bond, especially with Rob. Rob's cast his eye over them for a number of years, along with Bezo, and, and, and we know the ones that are coming through, they're on the same site as us so that we know who we've got, they come across and they train with us and um, yeah, we, we, we're using too many at the moment than, than we would like uh, because of our injury list but I thought they went out there and they did a magnificent performance against a real stubborn Barrow team and you know, apart from the, their two goals which were a set play and, and the seconds that came into the box, Brewery didn't have a shot to save. So our shape was good, our organisation was good but you know, we just come up a little bit short on, on them key moments. He got a bit of a knock as well on Saturday, Jenko. He came in and had a bit of treatment in the tunnel afterwards. How is he today? Yeah, we're, we're hoping that he'll be fine. 
you know, him along with Will took a little bit of a knock as well. So we're, we're hoping that they will be fine tomorrow. And you know, we've had one or two. You know, Aaron was back in the building today, and um, yeah, we've had uh, DJ's been training with us, and, and Brown is very close as well. So there's there's there is bodies coming back, um, but we've got to be patient. And what we can't do is put them in too early and play them play them back to back like we've had to do with a lot of players. Like you know, overuse injuries has been the main common denominator but when you look at Josh Davidson he played every minute of every game nearly and he didn't really have that support behind him until we brought we brought Ali in so there's a lot of players that's played a lot of minutes and we need to make sure that we get everybody right in the right way and see this season in strong. Wilton and Walsall both draw specialists at the moment what kind of game are we in for because you said there's a bit of a physical element to them as well. Of course there is, yeah, and uh, I know Flinney well, along with Wayne Hats, uh, Hatswell, and I know a few of their players as well, Tom Knowles, who was at Yeovil, along with Andy Williams. So we know what, we know what they're about, they're a, they're a strong physical team that will put you under pressure from set plays, long throws, but they'll also you know, open out, they'll look to play, they'll look to switch play and put balls into your box. So you know, we've done all of our work today um, on them, but we're also working on ourselves and as we said, for, for 60, 65 minutes we thought we played well, our game plan was working and it was just them key moments within the game. So we picked everybody up today, we had a real good positive meeting, identified where we think we could, you know, we could get better, but also accentuate that you know, we scored a goal, we should have gone 2-0 up before half time. So we're, we're, you know, there is a positivity about us, but we need to make sure that the, the good spells and for however long we're playing well, we need to get re results as well. Absolutely, it's our last Tuesday night league fixture at home. Um, my mind goes back to the late Orient game, what special atmosphere was that night. How important can these fans be to generate that kind of atmosphere you need tomorrow night? They're vital and they're going to be vital for all of our home games. We've still got some, some really good games coming up and um, the crowd are turning out, our supporters are turning out in numbers. And you know, if, there's fr if they get frustrated at the end of the game, we accept that, we're, we're all men, um, but just get behind the team during the game and we make sure that we'll get these young players out and when our other players come back, they'll be out fighting, running, blocking and tackling and then you know, hopefully then the clean moments that have not been down for us will turn because although we've been on a bad run, we've been on a, a couple of really fantastic runs this season as well, so you know, we know that it can turn within the next game. Brilliant, thanks very much indeed for your time Terry. No problem.